Hello everyone, it's your friend Rick. It's April 28, 2017. If you need to reach me, it's rick0327 at me.com. All right. All right, what you're looking at is no, I did not win any contests or, uh, you know. This is uh, what you're looking at is an exemplification certificate that I received in the mail today. Okay, this is what it looks like from the feds. Okay, so I want you guys to see what it looks like. Somebody sent me in the past and they're like, it looks strange. <laughs> you know, there's, look, it looks weird, but that's what it looks like. Okay, so, and here, what it reads is that the uh, I, Douglas C. Palmer, that's the, the clerk, United States clerk, okay, the judgment and testimony where of I sign my name and fix the seal of the court in this district in Brooklyn, and see the judge, she signed. So this is a proper order now. And there's a third witness, is the deputy clerk. So... This is the case that I was telling you guys about, where I was. Uh, I, I see. I, I sued the uh, sued Deep Car. Okay. Um, you know, of course, they got my name in all capital letters and all bullshit. So, see, here's, this is what I'm telling you guys. This, this, this judgment here. I did the whole common law thing, and they stonewalled me. Didn't even answer any of my notices. I did everything I could possibly do, and they just ignored me. But the reason why I did this was, um, though, <clears throat> I notified the court I wanted the trial by jury. I told the court that uh, summary judgments are forbidden in my court, because it's your court. Whenever you pay money, even though you're not supposed to pay money, but when, you pay, you, when you're convening a court, it's your court. On the common law, of course, but they don't see it that way, so they just bullied me. Um, and here's uh, okay, what's the date here? Okay, this is November 2nd. Uh, this is when they dismissed my case, and this is their famous ruling right there it's the Rooker Feldman Doctrine. This is what's been saving these family court people. Uh, that's why you do not, if you try and keyword. Uh, family court cases is it's very difficult to fi find them because they're being protected on the federal level by this piece of shit doctrine right now, which is horseshit. What it says is, and they, look, they, they use all these, uh, because the plaintiff, they call me a plaintiff, I told them not to call me a plaintiff, I told them to call me a claimant, all the, I, everything, I tried everything. I told them I don't speak legalese and they just ignored me. Okay? Uh... I did everything, so anybody out there, you know, who's into that, you know, yo, you got to use that common law, this one guy, I did, okay, and they ignored me, so, uh, vacate the decision, ended by a state, by the state court determination, by family court, now, I did all the work, guys, um, I did the video back in November. Remember, uh, I showed you guys. That's why I have everybody send paperwork out to the clerk to prove that there's no orders entered. There was none with me, and I sent it here. I did a writ of error, and they ignored me. Okay? But I'm not done with them. That's the reason why I'm doing this right now. I'll, I'll explain to you guys why I'm doing what I'm doing. What the Rick Feldman is, is that what they do is, they're, what they're famous for is they'll, they'll read what you're writing. And like with my case, the judge was like, well, after reading the plaintiff's uh, pleadings, it appears to me he is trying to read, see what they, uh, and the judge is not going by the evidence. She's like, what it appears, it's her interpretation. So that's, she's trying to cover her ass. But I never, I, I dotted my I's across my T's. I stated from the beginning that the, uh, you know, the support orders were void. I, I, I pointed out there's no judge signature. I did everything I'm telling you guys to do, I did. And she ignored all of it. That's why, like, now I'm going to get to the interesting part, uh, you know, what, why I'm doing what I'm doing. But let me, let me just finish the, uh, the Rooker Feldman thing. And this is why it's important that this is why we're doing everything that we're doing. Because down the road, you might, we might be in federal court, some of you guys. 
And a lot of you guys are fighters. A lot of you guys are not happy with the decisions you get, and, and that's good. You know, I, I, you know, I can't make any guarantees, you know, with my paperwork that you're going to get dismissal right away. But I, 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 I will guarantee you, I will put you in a position where you can win. That's what I'm doing here. I, I, that's the reason why we're sending out paperwork to the clerk, send out paperwork to the attorney general, send the paperwork out to the child support people, send the paperwork to the attorneys in the child support, interrogators, everything that we're doing to the judge, everything. Because we're, we're, that way they can't say that we didn't notify everybody. And we have a pattern of people conspiring with each other. I mean, what? Not, you know, even a, a broke clock is right twice a day. You're not, you don't get one person on your side based on the facts. I mean, a, a, a support order that's not signed by a judge, it's not ending with the clerk, and they ignore it. I mean, come on. That's a conspiracy as far as I'm concerned. And then when you factor in this uh, Rooker-Feldman thing, what the Rooker-Feldman is saying is that you're taking a state decision and you're trying to re-argue it in federal court, which is complete bullshit. This was a civil rights violation. And by the way, I didn't, and I didn't, so anybody out there that, I, you know, I got a few people that like to make comments that trying to correct me and everything. Guys, I... Trust me, you don't have to correct me. I've been there and done everything. I know everything. I've been through the common law stuff. I've been through the UCC stuff. And I'm not saying uh, it doesn't work. And I'm not against it. I'm just telling you they're not listening to it. They're not, they're not complying with it. Which is the reason why, you know what? They will, but they but they do listen to their own words. So if I use their words against them, they, they comply. Or at least it, uh, they're recognizing my paperwork and answering them. Okay? I know a few people out there that have used other people's paperwork and it's all written in that common law jargon, you know, verbiage, and they get ignored because they don't acknowledge that stuff because they see you as one of those sovereign people. And, and, and again, I'm not disagreeing with the common law. I, I do believe it's right. I just believe that these people here are putting up a front against it because they don't want common law. They're very happy robbing people, you know, with their bullshit you know, phrases in Latin and stuff, you know, because they could keep us at bay with that. You know, you, you go looking up definitions and, they, and you keep going in circles. Go to, go to part A, go to part A, part A goes reference back to part B. You know, it's like you're going in a circle. It's, it's comedy. <clears throat> okay, but again, the, the, Fel, the Rooker Feldman is saying is that you, you're arguing, a, you lost in a state, and you're mad, now you're going to the federal court. And that's how these, these uh, support magistrates you know, commissioners, you know what I'm talking about, your, your, friend, your friendly neighborhood uh, criminal impersonator of a judge under, you know, for child support in your area. And that's why, like, I tried suing this piece of shit for violating my, uh, my civil rights. But I didn't, I said, trespass on my rights. And what you do is you, <clears throat> another way, another thing, guys, I was thinking, when we use uh, the paperwork with the federal rules, when I say use the uh, the vacate the order on the federal rule 60B and, you know, the, the clerks and whoever, they're getting, you know, smart with their answers like, well, you can't use federal rules in court. You know, you do, you, you know, you could put in front of the, um, uh, in front of the federal rule, you put in CF and a dot. And that means it's comparing, it's comparing to it. Like, so you're going to say a law... Similar to that law, or, or comparable, that's what it means, it's com comparable. So in other words, whatever that law in your state is that's comparable to that, they're supposed to use it. Because you, again, we're not lawyers, okay? That's why, you know, you don't use that phrase pro se, okay? I don't use pro se. I like, uh, you know, guys, I don't need any comment section, I appreciate the work. Whenever I mention pro se, well... It, we mentioned pro se because in the case law it doesn't say uh, suras jury uh, or or uh, in personam propia or propia personam. That's the one I like because you're in your own. You know, you're, you're you're demanding that the court shows you that they have jurisdiction. When you're pro se, you're acting as an attorney, which means you're bound by the uh, by the rules of the attorney and, and by the court. So we stay away from that. I told them here, I, I gave them the notice, don't call me pro se, they called me pro se. I did everything. One day I'll pull out all the paperwork, it's a lot of paperwork, and, and they just ignored it, okay? But, uh, so, the Rooker-Feldman, they, they, 
We're not doing that. So in the paperwork, if anybody's going to go to federal court, you're going to say, it's not my intention to re-argue, you know, a state judgment. See, fraud is an exception to anything. You look it up. I told these people that the judge, that the support order was based upon fraud. It's, it's not entered in the court. And they ignored me. Uh, and I'm going to be coming back for her. That's the reason why I'm doing this. So, uh, anyway, let me leave the, the Rook of Feldman alone for now. Let me get to, um, and let me show you how slick these people are, what they did to me. Now, you see here, there's three of them, right? One, two, three. I asked for four. <laughs> All right. Now, look what we got here. All right, these are, uh, what happened was, it's $22. They pulled some maneuver on me. You know, this. I started this in um, in March, and look where we are. Remember, I, I, I was telling you guys that I try to avoid stuff because it, uh, when you're doing stuff through the mail, it takes a while. So I sent the paperwork in. It says on the website it's $22. Well, first of all, the and New York... Listen, I, I live in New York. Everybody knows. This is the most... It, we can make arguments. It's so fucking corrupt here. It's unbelievable. The, the corruption that I'm dealing with. And I'm dealing with federal corruption. I'm dealing in the state courts with the corruption. Uh, I live in Queens, New York. The courts, from what I understand, I've spoken to like lawyers and stuff. They say that it's so fucking corrupt in that Queens Supreme Court building over there. It's unbelievable. The clerks are unfriendly. I was uh, filing papers there about a couple of years ago. And a lawyer was submitting papers. He, he's from, he was from Brooklyn. He was like, holy shit, these guys are so nasty. I'm like, dude, you have no idea how nasty these guys are when you're trying to submit paperwork. <clears throat> so, okay, so they, but, so I sent the paperwork in. They told me it's not 22 it's $33. So now I had to go out and get a, an $11 money order. Okay, so look, we got one, two, three, four. Now, the fourth one was... The uh, the judge here she she dismissed uh, you know my my uh, what do you call it lawsuit you know for uh, civil rights and citing the the Rooker Feldman and but three weeks before I did an order to show cause and my order to show cause was like spot on so I went in there on October eighth and I. Uh, I, I stood in there for two and a half hours while they were upstairs jerking me, you know, whatever. And finally, the guy was like, uh, yeah, they're not going to see you today. No reason. And they told me I can't go upstairs to the courtroom. <laughs> I, dude, I'm just telling you how crazy it is there. Courts are open to the public, by the way. They're not supposed to be able to do that. But they just make it up as they go along. And they, and they, they, uh, they don't let you bring a camera in there. See, I because I'm a retired cops, the guys don't, but I don't, I don't. Because the guys are good to me there, I don't film in there because I don't want to get anybody in trouble. Because I don't have any reason to anyway, but still, I don't want to get any guys in trouble there. So, but they don't want any phones in there. So anyway, two weeks later, I get in the mail, the, the uh, order to show cause was dismissed, but by another judge. Not by this judge here, Margot K. Brody. It was the, uh, a woman named, um, she, oh, she's the chief of the court now here. In the Eastern District of New York, her last name is uh, Irizarry, and she just for no reason just dismissed one of those the the, the, the the plain old bullshit dismissed without whatever no reason. So that was the other order that I that I asked for, and I didn't get it. And here's the receipt from there, right? One, two, three. One, two, three. Where's the fourth one? I got proof right here that I submitted it. Okay, and the reason being is that if if I have that exemplified certificate from the other judge, they're going to say, well, what the hell are you making a decision on this, this case right there? 15 CV 43, what is your, what is your signature doing? That's, that's my goal. And I don't care I got it out there on the, you know, I doubt anybody's really watching my videos in the federal courts, but I don't care. So I got to, now I have the uh, the grounds to to file a lawsuit against these people. Okay, oh, I know they're you know they they're covered, but they're uh, they got uh, Im, you know immunity and all that. But no, they don't. Not when one judge is answering uh, papers as addressed to another judge two weeks later. 
on a civil rights case. Okay, two judges working together violating my rights. What's that called? It's called conspiracy. Conspiracy against rights. Okay, and that's why I did what I did here. And I got proof. So, all right, guys, now you got to see what an exemplified certificate looks like. All right, and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye.